my people what's good welcome back to the channel welcome to patel fc we are within uefa europa conference league time guys the boys are dripping you know all black just a case of who has the best shoes you know but a very thin squad jumped on the plane as thin as we don't even have an out and out right back in the team <laughs> it's really thin gusto and reese both resting so it's going to be an interesting back line but in terms of our opposition we will be welcomed by Panathinaikos for the first time ever. <laughs> Guys, you know, you can't look back in history and see when was the last time we played them. So today, or tomorrow rather, we will be witnessing history as Chelsea fans. It's the first time we play against them. And it will be the first time that we play a couple of teams in the Conference League in our six fixtures in the league table, leading up to our almost inevitable promotion right we have to be in the top eight guys honestly so first away game second game of the conference league let's get into it panathinaikos who are these guys currently they are the greek cup champions i'm, I'm assuming this cup could be the parallel of fa cup in england uh, which is um something you know they're holding a cup something uh, chelsea are currently not doing unfortunately <laughs> and they recently appointed a new manager so last season they had ivan jovanovic who is currently the manager of the greece national team the team that recently beat england in the nation's league so that manager had left recently and in june i believe they hired diego alonso diego alonso's got a bit of a track record guys 49 year old manager he had time at inter miami between 2019 and 2021 i think maybe david beckham was just starting off at that time you know there and then he got the uruguay national team job for two years then sevilla so he's been to La Liga at a reputable club. And then now, manager of Panathinaikos. So uh, interesting stuff, guys. I think we need to be wary. He is Mareska's senior in terms of play uh, in the game, you know, having time in the game. And he had quite an interesting career as well. He played for a lot of teams across his career. Even ended up in China, Shanghai Shenhua. That's interesting. <laughs> but in terms of uh, who should we look out for player-wise, I'm seeing this for T's. A few moments later. We're just gonna say Fortis. Fortis. Yeah, let's not let's not butcher names here. No, 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 no. Yeah, so he was their top scorer last season with 15 goals. Let's just be wary. In terms of in terms of our lineup, nothing complicated. We've had our team A for the Premier League. We've had our team B. So in terms of our team B, midfield, I believe we go with Cassidy. Because they deserves it, guys. When he's been on the pitch, he's been clinical, he's been precise, he's been composed for his age. He's the best football player in the world. <laughs> I don't know why people... Why are you laughing for? What, Chris, why are you laughing for? The camera, of course, Joao Felix needs minutes in his legs. Front three, Nkunku, I believe. Right side, Neto. Left side, Mikhailo Mudrik. Time to shine. <laughs> MM10, Micha. Micha time. So the back line is an interesting one. Backline is interesting. Vega, I believe, has to be a centre back alongside Badia Shio. And how will that chemistry work? Who's the leader between the two? Who commands the backline? Let's be honest, Badia Shio had an interesting game against Liverpool, guys. None of us can criticize Badia Shio for his performance against Liverpool. So, form wise, maybe he's getting comfortable in the system. Let him have a, have a good game in Greece. And he could actually get more minutes in other in other competitions, even Premier League. Who knows? Better. She was very young, good passer. It's just the defensive side of the game which he has to do well as a defender. He just needs to polish up a few things, just a few elements. And we're cooking. And of course, in goal, Jorgensen. Jorgensen. <laughs> some of us would even prefer him over Sanchez with the way Sanchez stresses us in big, big games. Oh, but anyway, we move. It's gonna be a big game. Second game of the conference league, like we said. Let's make it six points. I mean, simply keep it ease. You know, keep that ease going. There's been talk about who will Chelsea bring into the team come January or by, by the time it's, it's time for the knockout rounds. Uh, do we need Cole Palmer to win this competition? Do we need, you know, other players like Romeo Lavia to come into the books? Do we need Caicedo to be involved more? I don't think so. If this team can continue with a certain level of form and output on the pitch, we could go very far with this team, maybe just involve others by the semi-finals, final stage. And that would be interesting in terms of what happens for us in terms of marketing players. Because we do know Chelsea are going to sell, guys. 
it's a matter of acceptance and who's going to be around next season who will come in next season so that, that's part of the dna now it's part of the dna everyone needs minutes everyone deserves minutes and as chelsea fans we want to see everyone we'd like to see everyone's potential people are still saying keenan dewsbury holds a championship level player let him prove himself because i don't think he is i think he can be effective in the chelsea side genuinely so but yes guys we'll be here for the post-match let's get it y'all